Welcome back to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I will be your host for this episode. And last time we ended with a story time, and this time I shall begin with one. But before, let me as always switch back here to... I always forget to do this before I do the introduction. I need to remember this switch back to the Twitch window, and now we can read the book called Silence. Which actually, from all the books that we read now, from this quest, we actually got skill points this time in Illusion Magic. Silence by Ganfaril Kima. I've heard of you, said the old vagabond, very impressed. Aren't you the adventurer who slew all those ash vampires in Ghostgate a couple months back? That I am! said Orestrian Silverthorn with a weary smile for the, his admirer. He knew that his name was not yet legendary and it was best to be polite. And you are? <laughs> My name would, be, would have no meaning to you, but I'm Era Darathil, he said, raising a glass of grief. I hail from the region of Ghostgate, which is how I heard your name. Are you on an adventure as we speak? Yes, said Silverthorn with a grim expression. Oh, grim expression. And challenged to rid the Gracelands of a rogue battle mage by the name of Agro Amaro. Oh, I've heard of him as well, said Darothil. He's said to be very powerful, an implacable foe. Hmm, looks like someone I want to become. Well, I don't want to become a foe, but very powerful. Oh, that's why I'm drinking now, sighed Silverthorn. So tell me, what's your profession? <laughs> I do nothing, said Darothil with some measure of pride. But in my youth, I used to teach the skills of illusion at the University of Gwillem. Oh, perhaps you can help me then, said Silverthorn, suddenly excited. Can you teach the spell Silence? I can certainly pay you. I know that spell, said Darathil. You might find invisibility very helpful as well, or perhaps darkness, which would allow you to sneak up on old Agroamaro. No, said Silverthorn firmly. I only have time to learn one spell. I have to kill Aguamaro, collect the award, and be back in Genesis as quickly as possible. My wife worries when I'm away. Darothel agreed, and as the two settled back in their seats at the corner club and tossed back glasses of grief, the old man shared his knowledge of the spell. He explained what it truly meant to be to bend sound, creating a cone of silence as glass can bend light. He had Silverthorn close his eyes while he tapped the side of his glass, making him picture the sound as the physical entity it was before it was extinguished. Okay, I've got a theory now. The adventurer, after a few hours of instruction, paid the old teacher and so set off on his way. Oh, on his way. In Doranian, Agro Omaro's stronghold was not far from Sedrath Mora, and he soon saw the blight and ruin that was the battle mage's calling card. Delving into the depths of the ruins, Silverthorn was set upon by the servitors of Agroamaro, living and undead. With his enchanted ebony blade, he cut through legions before facing the master himself in, a, in the desolate main hall. Agroamaro bowed to his adversary sardonically, whatever this means, and then prepared to unleash a fireball to incinerate him. Before he had uttered the first word of the spell, he suddenly found that all the creaking and sighing of the ruins around him had been stilled. He opened his voice to speak, but there was no sound. Silverthorn took his time, strolling across the length of the hall, before the dispatching the battle mage with one stroke of his blade. Hmm. Okay, seems like I was wrong, let's see. The adventurer rushed back to the tribunal temple where he had received his quest. Oh, like us. Accepted the gold and the thanks and was back in his house in Gnesis, but a few days later. His wife Leah was beside herself with a worry. All I could do night after night is toss and turn. I kept imagining you burned to ashes by that battle mage. And where would that leave me? Do we have enough gold that I could support myself if you, Saint Sarin, let it not be so, were killed during one of these jaunts. I don't think so. Why couldn't you get a nice position in the fighter's guild right here in town? I hear they're looking for a trainer for the Imperial Guard. I know, I know, you want a life of adventure and danger and freedom and 
but if you'd only take one moment to think of me, stuck here all by myself, worrying about you, I suppose you'd... I suppose you'd like it if I took more of an interest in your work, but it's like I was telling Sir Calicia Vignum the other day. I said, Calicia, what good is a husband... Leah continued to talk, deaf to the fact that her words were dead before they left her mouth. Silverthorn smiled and nodded his head, enjoying the silence. He could have killed Agro Amaro without the spell, he considered, but he would not have to have survived his wife. Okay. Okay. I actually thought that the old guy teaching him the spell was the wizard and uh, the, battle ma uh, the battle mage, and he would be killed at the end of the book. Uh, I dislike how the wife is painted very cliché, but yeah. <sighs> so the stories go. Did I start the timer? No. So our 30 minutes of episode start now, after the story mode, or story time. There we go. Those were the books that we gained. Um, Mr. Andrew, Andrew Lethan, do you have another duty for us? Uh, speak with me again when you're, when you're a curate. Until then, you may ask, you may ask in Molag Mar or the Aldrun Temple. Okay, so we did ask in the Aldrun Temple. He sent us to him or Molag Mar. He also sent us to the Ghost Gate where there was no one. So we're just going to check in Molagmar, and then we're going to well, get one advancement and more duties, right? Let's see where Molagmar is, because I can't remember anything here. Gnarmok. Sidanin, this is where we started. Molagmar is over here. I'm pretty sure we've been there before. We can walk there from Suran. Walk there from Suran sounds good. So there is, there should be a boat here. Because there are boats that actually connect the districts and I always forget that. There's the boat. We can go directly to the foreign quarter. Not directly. Let's head to the arena. But I know that there is a boat just outside the city, so... Water. And there we are. This is just outside and now we're going to use... I think we should be able to use the Silt Strider what do you want? to head over to Suran. If not, it means we have to walk again. But I think there was a Silt Strider service in Suran. Also, I'm going to try to learn some restoration by using the healing spell. Because we will recharge anyway. Um, we should recharge anyway if we use the Silt Strider. Travel Suran, there it is. We could travel to Molagmar, but I don't know if we have walked there before I switched to Open Morrowind. When I did and replayed, I, of course, did not walk everywhere again. So it might be that we're walking there a second time now. May you find me worthy of your attention. Oh, that person actually. Ah, that's the. Yeah, that's the false incarnate who likes us very much now. What do you want? Uh, leave the town in this direction, basically. Ah, this is where we went to Nuchlecting. I think, as I already said, one exception of the rule is um, taking ships. I think we should try taking a ship to. I don't think I want you around anymore. Okay, why not? Escalian Isles region and Dren Plantation. Okay, that's interesting. She takes me someplace. There is no connection to 
that ship. You talk too much out there. Yeah, those ordinators are very nice people. Quickly, Outlander, I haven't much time. People don't like me here. As I said, the ordinators. What now? They are usually watching you. Scum. Here, this should be the back exit of the town. And head over to Suran. It says Escadian Isles region, so I can rest until healed. So we just stay by the water. And head on. Oh, so it seems like I just need to walk back and forth in order to hit them. I take all of them it just takes longer but it's so much fun to kill them <laughs> well fun yeah I'm not I'm not like overjoyed with fun just because I kill the mud crabs but it's um, it feels like a success something that I can do after having been killed in the last episode by that strong guy I want to feel strong too. Let's rest again. And I think we've been in here already. So. As I mentioned, uh, weeks ago for those on YouTube, yesterday for those on Twitch, I have finished recording the VHS cassettes, so I'm planning to build up a DOS PC, and um, I also already mentioned that I'm planning to do some little videos about the hardware that it uses, like um, the sound card and all that stuff. It won't go into much detail though, it might be just one or two videos overall. And um, I'm going to go. I'm going to show that stuff and then link some resources, I guess mainly videos with more explanations. So if you're interested in that, you can um, check out more. At least some guy called the 8-bit guy. Bit guy, 8-bit guy, yes, not 8-bit dude. The 8 bit guy did a uh, um, um, rather interesting video about um, old storage medias. Media, media is already plural. Storage media. Um, and so he already talked about the side quest drives that I'm going to show. But I plan to build up a very specific rig. There is going to be some custom things being done, not to the PC itself, well, may maybe even to the PC itself. Maybe I'm going to 
pull the PC out of its um, out of its case, and um, so I'm going. I'm planning to do it this shelf, which has the um, PC in the middle and a Commodore 64, which I also own, um, on top of it, or also in the shelf. And there, then there is a little monitor, a four by three monitor, because that's the aspect ratio that you had in DOS times. <clears throat> As you can see, I always need to pause when I <laughs> do something because else I can't concentrate that much. Um, and then I plan to have these um, switches. So I'm planning to have like a big... So the idea is to have a big key switch to actually turn on the power for the whole rig. And then have little switches for the... Um, for the individual things, like for the monitor, for the DOS PC, for PC64, or the, um, the floppy drive of the C64, the 1541, which had its own power supply. Now we're pretty close, now we just need to go over there. I'm going to use the strong fireball now because there is a skeleton and I don't know how strong said skeleton is. Okay, one fireball is enough to kill the skeleton. And of course, it's not that interesting for us. I think we already have been in there. I should make a list of things that we already seen. List of books, list of places that we've been. But now, this is Molangmar, and now I know why we were here. We have been teleporting here from using a um, CV intervention. But now we walked here. So, now we're good. Now we're good with teleporting and using the Sil Strider. Because now we've seen the... So there's not basically not that much to see and uh, this is the way to Mount Asana Bibi I think did we go that way last time when we went wanted to go to the Nchu lifting I'm not sure but we want to go to the temple here and now we can still rest and soon we won't be able to and there isn't much in the way of services. Oh, and a fellow Kajiti. Hello, fellow Kajiti. You want you are, Your name is Vanjira. Um, okay. Uh, just a random NPC who does not do anything. Which is a bit a bit of a weird thing. Okay, let's, let's just check all the places so we can go into the Underworks. Which seems to actually only have rats and stuff. So I'm just going to go back inside. Uh, outside, we go back up stairs. I just wanted to check if I had seen people there. Um, some of the underworks in Vivek actually have people there and actually have uh, traders and, and uh, stuff. So let's head back inside here. But yeah, this is this is something that I'm going to show once it's done. Let's see over here. The Pilgrim's Rest. This actually sounds like... Oh, look, it's a tavern. Speak, traveler. Let's see if we, when we talk to the people. So we can sell him stuff for 75 gold. Which I think is good. Because I can just sell stuff. I do have stuff to sell, so... And I only need... Oh, he doesn't buy books. Okay. Just give me the gold. And he's, he should sell... Oh, restore fatigue, restore fatigue. We're going to buy all of these. So what do you want? Oh, well, I know. I want to get to know people. You know? Well, what's, what about Molagmar? Well, Molagmar's stronghold is a combination frontier garrison and pilgrimage hostel, joint staff and maintained by the Tribunal Temple and House Redoran. Uh, Redoran. Both the Temple and House Redoran have garrisons of elite volunteers here to defend the stronghold. 
pilgrims use the stronghold as a base from which they can attempt the difficult and dangerous pilgrimages to the Mount Kent and Mount Asarnibibi sites to the north in the Molagamura wastelands. Well, thank you. Thank you for explaining that. Um, let's check. I think Redoran is not the house that we are in. We are in, yeah, House Telvani is the one that we are in. Exactly. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. I heard you offer training in a block medium armor. That's not what I'm wearing. No, thank you. Okay, also nothing. This door is openable. This one also. There's Go someone ahead. inside who does not do anything. And yes, I'm basically yes. checking if we if we get quests here. How about a little advice? Okay, most pilgrims need guards. I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up. So basically here, this is just a random tavern. There was no more door down there. No more door here. And let's check here. This should be the exit. Let's see. Could be it says trader. Could be that this is yeah. This is the entrance to a trader's house. And of course you enter and immediately head downstairs. There you go. He'll tell me what he can. Well, basically I'm just interested in selling some things, like surplus books, for example. But do you also have nice light armor for me? This is medium armor. Light armor. Yeah, that's better than the one that I'm currently wearing. I'm still wearing chitin. For chitin's sake. Netch leather, armor rating 5. I need that glass or what it was. Glass or ebony was the light, light, best light armor. Well, no, but this one can go, this one can go. And yeah, there we go. What's this about? Oh, do we have rumors? No, that was Molag Amur. That was not a rumor. Okay. Let's see if there is... Just checking the map. There is Molag Amur over there. Smith over there. I guess the Smith does not have any... He's a Nordsmith, so he does not have any light armor, does he? Barter. Uh, helm, no, no helm. Chitin, a right pauldron. Oh, I'm not wearing pauldrons because yeah, that was also on purpose. Nordic fur. Which is worse than the chitin. But you do offer repairing services, right? Just repair everything. I shut up and take my money. What say you? Well, goodbye is what I say. Oh, hello, mask. Who are you? He's pl please, please to meet you. Please, to yeah. Well, well, you're welcome to meet me. But he asked me if it's something to do for me uh, can something do for me but I'm confused confused to talking our major's stronghold this is the armor I'm talking about you may speak of course I'm not allowed to take any of these that would be stealing yes outlander Still curious. Training. Long blade block heavy armor. Nope. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Who are the armagers? Latest rumors. Did you hear about the pilgrims headed east of Lake Nabia, northwest of Mount Kand? There's that's no place of for a party of pilgrims. Let me real quick note that down. Uh, up um, party of pilgrims 
uh, east of Lake Nabia, northwest of Mount Kant. Because I will be able to help them up. And back, I always go back to that screen. Thank you very much. Speak, traveler. So yeah, we are not just looking for the temple, we are being curious. So this is a cell door, it's a trap. And, um, well, the key is here, which is weird. But I guess it is made so they will see you? us unless we're actually able to sneak. Which we are not, we're not trained to sneak. So we can just leave again. And we leave in the direction yeah, down there was nothing. We leave in the direction where there is only one door, because if you do so, you will end up. Oh, this is down the downstairs. And then we should have left the direction of the two doors. <laughs> I forgot that we already went upstairs. Um, Because now we can go to the center, which is where I expect the temple to be, and I guess this is the temple. He also does not have anything interesting over there. My patience is limited. Well then let's not um, strain it too much. Let's check out the hostel. Just to see Make I guess it this quick, is Outlander. only If I can help I will, but don't take too much time. Yeah, they only have food. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Yeah, it's something that I actually nearly have. But got lots of gold. I guess downstairs is the sleeping area. There is someone there. Oh, he, he seems to be from the Blades. Interesting, because he knows about What's them. What's this then? The homilies of the blessed Omlexion. Hmm. Ah, Godling on, the rest. Say of something or move on. If you want Stenet. something, now's the time to talk. For being a secret order, the blades are very talkative, I think. Make it well, quick. I am a member of them now, but how do they know? Word travels fast, I guess. What's, what's this here? This seems like a slave market. It looks like it. Ajit has no time for you. Yeah, this is a slave Speak market. Quickly. Slavery is legal in Morrowind. Because it's tradition of the Ashlanders. So let's see. This is the place we should go for duties. Saratorello. You again. You again. Let's see. Okay. What kind of spells do you offer? Blood gift. Ooh, that's nice, but it's only 60 seconds. So restore, um, restore um, magicka. Basically, also does not work because it costs more magicka than it um, restores, or it does the same basically. So it's not very resist blight disease. There we go. This is something that I want to know, even though it costs me a thousand gold. I want to be able to cure blight disease you may speak. on myself. So basically now I can let me let me check the spell. Vivex Tears, which has a chance of zero and costs one hundred magicka. So we need we do have one hundred magicka, but we need to learn more restoration. Okay, thank you. So he did not have anything. Training. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. This is the duty guide. 
Ferrer Rothlaw, the duty person. A villager in Telmora has fallen ill, but there is no temple in Telmora where she can go for healing. Go to Telmora and cure Lat. Uh, the trample doesn't. The, the trample. The trample, yes. The temple does not proselytize. What does this mean? But we do good works for non believers. Let a great guardian Telmora has swamp fever. Cure her of swamp fever and return to me. Well, what actually is swamp fever? Well, the symptoms include high body temperature and delirium, but there are actually no easily visible signs. It can be cured with a standard potion of cure disease, or you may attempt to cure it with a spell. Well, cure it with a spell. We do have cure disease and others. Cure others. So, it's a problem. And let me check the journal. It was Telmora. Telmora is here. We've been there already. By boat from Sedrath Mora. And Sedrath Mora is a major skill. Yes. Okay. But we missed checking out something first. Oh, this is the stronghold of House Redoran. Okay, I'm not interested in that. I'm House Telvani. I don't care about House Redoran shen shenanigans. And I'm going back downstairs. Down here. Is that the correct direction? No, it's not. <laughs> but there's a boat here. Maybe this can actually already bring us to Telmora, which would be awesome. No, Telbranora. Well, it can bring us to Vivek. Oh, no, I'm not interested in that. Quit Let me see if the... I haven't much time. There is the Silt Strider outside, which could take us to where we want to go. We will check out the Silt Strider service. Let's have another sip. One way to get up there. And here we are at the Silstrader service. And the levitation held long enough. So, if we run Vivek, hmm. should have taken the boat. Where would you like to go? Let's see. Amara Suits Trader is close to the. I'm, I'm not now checking out. Um, I can go to Sed and uh, to to Sedrith Mora, well, to Wolverine Hall specifically. Um, via major skill te teleport so i think i'm going to do that and, and i'm checking how where can i easily get to the major skill and balmora actually is a place where the silt strider well, is walk, close to the major skill as whereas in vivek i would have needed in, in both cases i would have needed to head up up the the um, stronghold building thing which takes way more time that said, let me just real quick sell st stuff to our good friend Ravir the Why Trader, who is wearing this you? ugly m take of that ugly helmet. Jeez. Fortify personality. We 
don't need that one anymore. Because we now have... Well, we have a spell that, that, that we can't use, right? Um, oh, and Restore Fatigue. So, basically, what I should do instead is... Put these two into a... And create three potions of Restore Fatigue, and then sell the three leftover items to our friend. Your actions precede you, Alchemist. Yeah, Major Skill likes us to. For now. Because the House Tavani and the Major Skill are in a little feud. So let's sell these two. There we go. What can I do for you, friend? And no, not spell. Travel to Wolverine Hall. What can I help you with? And this marks the end of this episode. My wrist is vibrating, what was that telling about? me that our recording goes on for 30 minutes or more. So I would say we check out um, uh, that letter person in the next episode next Monday. Bye-bye.